guys so I have a fall I guess a fall winter clothing haul for you today and there are a ton of things I have a big pile of clothes next to me um, and not that I have to justify myself to you and maybe I'm just trying to justify to my, justify all of this to myself but I did buy I think everything except for one thing on sale which is pretty good if you ask me um, I'm all about finding the good sales and yeah so since there's so much I think we're just going to get right into it the first thing I wanted to show you is something that I'm actually going to be exchanging for a different size and it is this flannel shirt from um, this is actually from J. Crew Factory I got it during their Columbus Day Sale it's a blue orange and I guess beige flannel um, this is actually from the men's section of J. Crew Factory fun fact I buy a nearly all of my flannels from the men's section just because I think they're a thicker and better quality than women's flannels. I always find that women's flannels are so thin and I never get why. If I'm buying a flannel, I want it to be a thick material. This is not the thickest of materials, but it is still um, a pretty good weight to it. But I'm exchanging this just because I want it in a bigger size because this is more of a tailored and slim fit and I like my flannels to be um, kind of baggy. I don't know why. I just prefer them that way. I am going to keep this color. I'm just exchanging it for a different size. So the next thing is actually also from the men's section. I own this sweater in just a plain cream color and I got it last year and I really really liked it. I wore it a ton. I think I wore it every week at least once. Um, but I loved it so much that I said, oh no, I got makeup on it when I was trying it on. Anyway, so, um, it's okay, the makeup will come off. Um, I decided to get it in a new color this year because I saw on their website that they had it in this, I guess it's like a pattern, it's like a striped pattern. It's the Drifter Cable Sweater, Cable Knit Sweater from Land's End. Um, it's this it's cream I think this comes off more white but it's kind of like this cream color and then it has a black stripe and then black and white thicker stripe and then on the bottom it's all black but it's just a plain crew neck um, cable sweater it's actually I don't really love crew necks so much but I will make an exception for this sweater because I love it so so much if you're like me and you can't wear a ton of wool sweaters because wool just doesn't agree with your skin go check out Land's End because they have a ton of great co like 100% cotton sweaters um, that are really great and a really good thick material for the fall and winter um, I don't think they I don't know if they have all of them out right now but I know probably like November they'll start putting out more but if you're looking for a good sweater get this one this next sweater I also already own in a different color. I think I mentioned it last year in my, in like a similar fall favorites tag. It's a sweater from uh, Forever 21. And it's one of those like open shawl drapey cardigan things. Um, it's their Southwest tribal print cardigan. Like I said, it's just open in the front. Where is it? Yeah, it just opens up here. There's no tie or button or anything. This one I have in navy and white, but I also have it in the, the gray, red, and black combo, and I love that sweater so, so much. I've actually been, they put this sweater out last year in this color, and it sold out really fast. Um, so I've been waiting, I guess essentially since October, November of 2014 to get this sweater. And when I saw it, I put myself on the like mailing list, the waiting list for it. When I got the email, I hopped on that because I love this sweater so much and I wear it a ton. The next thing I have is a vest that when I first saw it online I thought there's no way that that will look okay on me because I I don't know I guess when I was just picturing when I saw it on the model in the picture I just couldn't I don't the length of it I just didn't think would work because I'm only 5'4 so 
I'm on the shorter side. Um, it's just this long sleeveless open vest. Um, goes down. I can't even get my arm to show all of it. Um, but it goes down pretty, it doesn't like, it doesn't quite reach my knees, but uh, it is a long vest. And I wasn't sure about it, like I said, but I think this looks good with so many things. I did try it on with several outfits um, when I got it because I wanted to make sure that I would actually be able to wear it. And I think this looks really great with jeans, um, whether they be black or a light denim or a dark, dark denim. Um, it looks good with jeans and heels, jeans and sneakers. This looks really nice, I think, with a dress. And sneakers, like a long sleeve dress. I think it looks also really nice with turtlenecks. I really love turtlenecks. Um, but yes, I just think this is a really nice plaid piece to have in your closet. And this is from, I don't think I mentioned it, this is from the Tacoon for Kohl's collection. And Kohl's has a ton of sales all the time. Um, this originally is 120 I will tell you right now, I did not pay 120 for this. I saw it in store for 90 and then I actually ended up getting it online, I think for 80, 82 or $83. So yes, always check. Also, you should always just use Ebates because they will find you coupons when you shop online. I just realized that I forgot to mention this other sweater, um, but I got this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's just a plain gray sweater. There's nothing that, it's just a, it's just baggy and it's just this plain gray sweater. It has a zipper in the back. It's from Halogen. I'm pretty sure this is still online. It's a thinner, thinner material. So um, it's a little bit see-through. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, you can a little bit. It's a little bit see-through. Um, so you'll definitely have to wear, if you're like me, I will definitely be wearing a tank top underneath this, but Yes, this is, it's just a really nice, soft, gray sweater. <laughs> the next thing I also got from Nordstrom, and it is this Vince Camuto Anorak jacket. This is what it looks like. Um, it has these faux leather sleeves on it. They're perforated a little bit, um, and a ton of gold detailing, like gold buttons, this little gold Vince Camuto on the sleeve. It has a gold zipper. Um, it's met, it's lined inside with mesh, and then there's also a drawstring. I don't know if you can tell, yeah. There's a drawstring right here, which I really like because if you pull it in, if and you can, it cinches in your waist, obviously, and it gives you a nicer, I think it gives a nicer cut and look to the jacket instead of it being so um, straight up and down and kind of boxy. And then another really cool thing about this is that. Um, here in the collar, there's a zipper, it, which kind of just looks like a stripe, but it's actually a zipper and there's a hood that's in here. So if it rains, you can pull out your hood and wear this jacket, which I really like because I hate umbrellas. I don't know, I guess maybe on camera. Okay, so when I bought this, it says it was the color sand, but I'm looking at it, looking at it in real life, it kind of looks a little green. like kind of that army, like a little bit of a lighter army green, but now I'm seeing it on camera and it looks sand. I don't know. It's just not as beige as it looks in the picture online, I would say that, but I still really like it and I'm probably going to wear it a ton before it gets too cold to wear this. So the next thing I have is this tan faux suede shift dress from Target. It has this v-neck in the front. It's not too deep, which I really like. And then two pockets right here, one, one right here, and one here. Like I said, it's just this tan shift dress. I've already worn this with a um, olive green sweater and cheetah flats, which I really like. Um, but this will also look really nice with riding boots and heels. But yes, I really like this. Obviously, suede is a really big trend um, for the fall, especially this fall. I feel like I'm seeing so many suede things, suede skirts and suede pants and suede, suede everything. And another dress I got, it's just this v-neck. I like v-necks. 
Um, this is the neck black dress from ASOS. It's just plain and black. Although it does um, have a drawstring. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a, it's too hard to see because it's black. But there's a drawstring here um, at the waist so you can cinch it in a little bit and give it more of a, like give yourself more of a figure in this dress. Um, but it's just plain black. It's a jersey material. Yeah. So the next few things I have are jeans and they are all from American Eagle. You can say whatever you want, but American Eagle always has really good deals on jeans. I think they're frequently buy one, get one half off. And so if these are, how much was this? I don't even know this. So this was $45. Um, I think they range between $45 and $50. So you're getting them at $22 to $25. For me, that's I think that's a pretty good deal. This is a pair of their high rise skinny. I got it in the lightest denim they offered for this style. So these are pretty light. I think these are some of, or I think, yeah, I think these are the lightest jeans I I have. Um, and then they do have that acid, like that washed, that wash here, which I don't hate, but I don't love. Um, and then it has two rips, or it has one big rip here, right in the front of your knee obviously i buy all of my jeans short because i like for them to end like right right at my ankle um just because i think i just like the way that looks better on me the next pair i have are these gray yeah, see there's a high rise jeggings from american eagle they just look like this i mean there's nothing they essentially look exactly the same as the last pair except those are skinny so they're I mean to me they feel I don't know to me they feel the exact same but I don't know American Eagle says they're different so I guess they're different but yeah so these are just gray with black stitching um it does have a few distressed it has a distressed knee I think on both yeah but they're just gray jeans I, I was going to feel about these which is another reason why I like getting them from American Eagle because if I don't like them, it's not really breaking the bank because they were on sale. But I tried them on. I do really like them. And then the last pair of jeans I have are just a pair of plain black jeggings. So that's all they are. They're just black jeggings. The next three things I have are blanket scarves that I got from ASOS. You may have seen them in an Instagram picture that I posted about all the plaid scarves I have. And those were not even all of them I have more believe it or not I really love shopping at ASOS for I mean in general for their clothing because they have a ton of things but they also have a great selection of scarves for the fall and winter and I like getting plaid blanket scarves because I don't wear a ton of patterns when it comes to my tops I mean I wear flannel shirts sometimes um, but then most of my sweaters and and you know t-shirts are just black or white or gray sometimes navy but i'm pretty plain so i like adding blanket scarves to add some color to my wardrobe in the fall and winter so i bought three of these they're reasonably priced like 33 dollars which to me that's pretty good I, ha I hang them up on hangers um this plaid one this one reminds me a lot of christmas um it's red and green blue and white it just reminds me of Christmas and the holidays, so I really like that one. This one too, actually, which is probably why I bought these, because I, they remind, they remind me of the holiday season. Um, this one, this one is a little bit more multicolored with red and has some yellow in there also. And then the last one I got is just this bait, like this creamy, like this cream ivory shade with gray, orange, and a light blue. So yeah, I don't know, I like blanket scarves because they're so big and I just like getting them in the plaid colors for the fall and winter. So the next things I'm going to show you are the shoes that I purchased. Now I got this pair during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I also mentioned them during my fall favorites tag. Um, and it is my pair of Cole Haan Oxford, I guess sneakers, I don't know what to call them because they're not like fancier shoes because they have that rubber bottom, which makes them really great for walking here in the city. But yeah, they're just gray 
Oxford sneakers. I think these look really, really great. You know, you can dress them up if you want to for work, but I think they also work, or they look really nice with a more casual outfit, um, with jeans or with a dress or a skirt. I think it just dresses that kind of outfit up a little bit, but still keeps it really casual because they're not such a formal Oxford shoe. This next pair I also mentioned during my fall favorites tag and I got this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale as well and it is the BP Trot booties. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, the Trot booties. Just a black heeled booty, ankle booty. Um, it's only three inches so they're pretty comfortable to walk in and what I really like about these is that um, like I said, it has this curved front right here, which if you have wider calves like I do, I think it's really flattering because it elongates your leg a little bit. And it, I just think it makes your calf not seem so wide, so it makes it a little bit more narrow looking. So the next pair of shoes that I got this year are, I love these shoes so much, and I'm, I'm actually kind of afraid to wear them because they're so pristine and white right now. They are my Adidas high tops. Oh my gosh, I love these so, so, so much. Um, I don't know why. I don't, I mean, I already, I do like Adidas sneakers, but there's just, there was just something about these high tops that, I don't know what it is. I just love them. I love them so, so much. But obviously they're super comfortable. They're sneakers. I did, I think I bought this, yes. I got this a half size larger than I normally would. I, I usually wear an eight, but in sneakers, I always get an eight and a half. I do really like them. I know they're probably not everyone's cup of tea. I didn't think they would be mine either, but I really, really like these. Okay guys, so that's it for my fall winter haul. I am swearing off clothes until the new year. I definitely don't need any more, because um, that was a lot, but yes. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.